Hi, everyone. Pattern by Teresa's Primitive Treasures. And these are like three dimensional flowers. So you punch the flower and then you put the stem, which I'll show you later on in the video, um, which you, um, it's stuff that you buy at Joann's. And then you put wool on the backing. So I don't think I've showed you yet that I'm trying out my new uh, spinner frame. It works really well. Whoops. One thing that I do have to do is because I'm sitting in a recliner, I have to put it on a pillow because otherwise this part goes against my stomach and then it doesn't turn. So um, that's just a little thing that works for me. So I'm going to get to punching these flowers and check and the leaves are actually made out of wool. So I'm going to get to work on this and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is where I'm at, and it's been about a month since I worked on these, so I don't remember what I talked about and what I didn't. This is the wire that's going to be the stems. It is from Joanne Fabrics, so um, get it with a coupon because I think it was like 7 or $8. But it is wired jute twine. It's very stiff. Okay, so I've matched up the colors. These are wools from Rebecca Smith, and... These are going to be the background wools. And then I've matched up threads that I'm going to use to attach this to this. And so the next step is to cut out the shapes with the wools. And then I'm going to go ahead and stitch them together. But before I do that, I need to trim all the way around here and then turn that to the back. I'm probably just going to put little dabs of hot glue on there, but not completely because I need to be able to get the needle through the edges. So I don't want any hot glue around the edges. And then I'm gonna get to stitching. Okay, the next step was to cut the wool in the shape of the flower, and then I just whip stitched it on the back with a coordinating thread. Um, this is the wired jute twine that comes on a roll, and I just cut it and stuck a piece up in there. I did not glue it probably don't have to because it's just going to stay in a cup uh, that I'll show you when it's all done. And then after this, I just have to cut some pieces of wool for the leaves and tie them on the wired jute and they'll be all finished after I put them in the cup. Okay, I wanted to show you the finished product. Here it is at my camper. It's pretty loud here because... I'm right next to this creek, which is a perfect campsite. Loud for videos. So here is the camper. This is what keeps me busy when I'm not crafting, which pretty much all summer I am out camping. Once, uh, sometimes twice a month. And then we get way back is the whole thing. I just made this awning couple weeks ago. It's the first time I ever made an awning. It came out pretty good. And I will link the tutorial for that in the bottom um, after I get that video up. But this video will probably go up first. So you may have to come back to get the link for that one. So that's my little tiny camper. This is my finished product right there. Came out really cute. I'll show you the inside of the camper, just in case you're curious. It's my little dollhouse on wheels. Let me shut the AC off. It's a little quieter. So it's kind of dark in here because it's hot. It's very hot. So I have everything closed up. Just have a little bit of curtain open to let some light in. But here is my tiny camper. Really, really cute. Just perfect for me. And then over here is the other side. And that would probably go down into a bed, but it's only 17 inches, so I'm not even going to try. This roof actually pops up, I'll show you, like that. 
but I have it closed because of the heat. Sorry about the noise. And then this is my cute screen door. Works to keep the flies out. So you can see my view here. It's perfect. And uh, check out my other videos, everybody. There's a lot of tutorials on punch needle and wool applique. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.